Well, good morning, and thank you for tuning into Cartoons. Unfortunately, it's yes. going to be with heavy hearts today. This is a pure testimonial to our dealer partner, part owner of Beneford, Mr. Pat Ringold. I'll tell you what, we yep. gathered all the employees here. We want to talk about the appreciation of Pat, what he's done for the community, what he's done for all of us. We lost him on February 19th to a battle with pancreatic cancer. So here we are as a team singing the praises and uh, talking about the Ringold family. Yes. Pat Ringold, survived by Carla, son Tim, son Johnny, uh, daughter-in-law Heidi, daughter-in-law Kimberly, and uh, many grandkids there many to follow. Many grandkids, yes. The reason that we decided to come out here as a group is to uh, continue Pat's legacy. Pat had a dream that on Benna and Superior Chrysler, three city blocks of one big automotive plaza. And with the loss of Pat, our job, all of us as employees, is to continue what he started building. With his untimely loss, very unfortunate. That's right. But in the words of Pat Ringold, full speed ahead. He always said it. Always. Yeah. I believe it. Yep. My promise to you guys is full speed ahead, moving forward. We want to talk about what he did for the community oh. from the honor guard, you know, to the the toys for tots, to the coats for kids. Just Kids Dental. Just Kids Dental. Superior Racetrack, the the park, skate park over there for the kids. Um, this gentleman, I've been with him for over 21 years, started with another dealership with him. I've never worked in for somebody who's done so much for my life because he always gave back to us. That's what he did. He was the most caring man that I could ever imagine. As a boss, he was the greatest person, personally, and when it came to the business. So part of his legacy was continuing sponsorships for everybody. So if you're out there sitting on that couch having something to eat and to drink, right. you know that this Benna Ford Superior Chrysler community at 3022 and 2908 Tower Avenue, we are still here, we are strong, and we are ready to go. So John, yep. any ideas? You know, is it continuing with the short jokes or is that going to go away? Uh, someone here, out of all these amazing people, someone's going to tease you about it. You know that. That's right. Pat always did. And he always made the best of it. That's right. Sit back on that couch and enjoy the show. Thank you. So uh, Pat hired me back when I was, uh, like he called me, 24-year-old punk kid. And uh, that happened to be in the year 2001. And here we are 20 plus years later, and all I can think about when I think about Pat and think of his personality is that big smile. You've seen it on the show, huge smile from ear to ear. One of the funniest guys. He, he was so funny with his dad jokes that he'd start laughing before he could finish the joke. One of the ch most charming things about him, man. It, it was so, so funny. This is 20 plus years with this guy as my mentor, my friend, um, like I say, my second pops, you know, he is, uh, he's, his family made us family as employees. Uh, Carla Ringold, you know, who's very involved with Pat in the community. Um, her, her and Pat's uh, uh, Coats for Kids, they just took it and believed in it and made sure that every year it grew and grew and grew. Coach for Kids, it's Carla's and my favorite month for something. We have a lot of charities we do, but this one is one of my favorites. Coach for Kids. Tim Ringle. Tim Ringle was here when Pat hired me 20 plus years ago. Their son, their oldest son, uh, Johnny Ringle. Johnny Ringle is their younger son, who also was my boss at one time, too. And they always were like family. Hi, John Toman here. I've been with Pat Ringle since 2002. Um, uh, he brought me into the store. Uh, to do the inventory and all this. And I tell you what, from my heart, I've never worked for a better person. Um, I d would, he got me to do the inventory, sales, whatever it was. I was there, help with the advertising, whatever it was. And I went through some times myself with cancer. And he said, Johnny, whatever you need. And he was always there, just a rock star for me. You know, um, I, I'm into racing. And I was we able to sponsor, we did the Spear Speedway, some race cars, whatever. He was really good about that. It's hard to help out here, the community, all the different things he did. 
and of course all the people who worked here um, I, I can't say enough and thank him enough uh, for what he did for us myself my wife the community one thing about Pat Ringgold commitment Pat was committed to whatever he did whoever he associated himself with um, you can just look at his family look at Carla look at Tim and Johnny uh, Pat was committed to that family he's committed to his marriage he's committed to his wife uh, unlike just about anybody even outside my parents that I've ever seen um, it says I had pointed out one time you didn't run anything by Pat you ran things by Pat and then he ran it by Carla to make sure everybody was on the same page well or with your whole team here I tell you Carla's Carla is really the I'm sitting her hand in the plaque I hold on to plaque here this is really a lot to do with Carla in all the different programs that she does for the community it's just it's in her heart of hearts to do this but for the kids we've always this was an easy one for us because we've always felt that peer pressure is really tough on kids and if you can get if you if a kid can smile and have good dental hygiene that just works it that much closer to getting getting you know the peer pressure off them so thanks for letting us stay involved we will stay involved as long as you guys want us to and uh you know what? Thank you to everybody here. Thank you to everybody that's you know everybody that's with you, your board and everything. So you guys do an unbelievable job. You know he's going to be missed. I mean he what he did for the community and what he did for you know you know his 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 impressions are left everywhere in the community. And when I say community, yes, his business was in Superior, but he supported Duluth as well. He supported Cloquet as well. He supported the whole region you know it wasn't just one individual community which is kind of like same thing he looked at the Northland as one community not individual cities and the thing I liked about him too in, in my mind is Pat was a man's man and what I mean by that is you know take it for what you will everybody has a different definition of that but for me you know his family came first he was all about his family. His grandkids talked about him a lot. His wife, of course, um, was his partner in crime and everything. Secondly, is he worked really hard. He did work hard for everything that he has. But third, he did give back to the community and he thanked the community for helping provide him with you know, a lot of the things that he was able to obtain in life. He knew that the community was behind him and making sure that you know, a lot of the things that he had in his life was because of the community. And you know, it's a lot of the similar things that I value in my job. Same thing, work hard, family, and you know, give back to the community as much as you possibly can because they make you who you are. I hesitate to even bring this one up, but we were up at his place on Island Lake for a 4th of July get together. And it was family and friends, and we were fortunate enough to be invited. And I probably shouldn't say this, but um, we started talking about golf. And Pat said, well, hey, I got a driver in here and a whole bunch of golf balls, let's hit a few. So we started hitting golf balls. And there's this rock wall, which raises about yay far off the ground. And we're hitting toward that rock wall and sitting behind us in the patio are a group of people, including his wife, Carla. Well, <laughs> Pat tees her up and he's gonna let this one rip by God. He's just gonna let this one fly. And he hits a worm burner. And in golf circles, a worm burner comes about that far off the ground. It hits that retaining wall. It shoots back all like that. And it hits Carla right in her thigh. If phones would have been ringing, the phones would have stopped ringing mid sound. Birds stopped chirping. The wind stopped blowing. Everything came to a dead silent. And Pat turned around and he looked at his darling Carla with this look of horror in his eyes and he dropped everything and he ran to her side. And you could just tell it was a combination of first and foremost, are you okay? Second, am I in trouble? This is what it came down to. Uh, one, she was okay. Two, he wasn't in trouble. And three, we were done playing golf for the day. And so we just went away to drinking beer and you know, behaving like not children. So when it came down to, I'll never forget that. Oh, it was, uh, it was ugly there for about three seconds, but it all worked out. Goofy, we had a goofy relationship like you can't believe. Um, all the short jokes that were made from it, back from, I remember when Bill Jones from KQDS came over and bought a new Roush Day 3. 
And Pat went on the air and said, Bill, how did the, how did the delivery go? He said it was great. I had to help when I, John showed me where the spare tire was. I had to help him lift him up into the trunk. It was things like that. He would make lighthearted. He make people come in and feel welcome to the place, you know. And, and that that was the biggest thing about this place. And I never met somebody who worked hard. six days a week. He was here, you know. He gave it at all, and he we did the same thing. We did one where we gave away a car uh, for the uh, Miller Dwan Association, you know. Uh, we were dressed up in tux, and Pat tapped me on the shoulder and he goes. Guess what you're doing? You're presenting it all this. And I said, oh my God. Or uh, a real funny one too is we're supporting a, 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 an entity in this town, a big company, and they needed support. And they wanted to see if Bennett would come in and support them. Well, we did. Well, when it walked up there, uh, the supporters were on this side and that side. And if you want to speak, sign up here. He signed my name to it. Not as an owner. He had me go up in front of TV cameras. I had no speeches or anything. That's, that's what he would do. And it made me laugh, you know, now it's, I just cherish it. Carla Ringgold, Pat Ringgold, they've done such a great job over the years. Um, just inspiring to work for a business that, that gives back, you know, and uh, I appreciated it very much. I was been doing remote broadcasts and voice work for Benna Ford for, oh gosh, 15, 20 years. And I can go out there and I can point out the majority of those salespeople that work out there, the majority of those managers that work out there were there when I started doing remote broadcasts every Saturday, like I say, 10 or 15 years ago. There's a reason for that. If you look at not only different car dealerships, but if you look at businesses anywhere, look at my radio station. We have a core group of people, but a lot of businesses can't say that. There's turnover and turnover and turnover, especially in an industry like car sales. I mean, it's it's a tough business to be in. You have to be really good, you have to know your stuff, and you have to work to build up a clientele, but you also have to have that backbone, that the commitment from your employer that they're gonna give you a chance to succeed, and you're going to enjoy coming to work, and that's just the climate that Pat Ringgold and everybody at Ben Ford created. And he not only did that with his business, he did that no matter what he did. You know, you talk about commitment. How many times did you hear Pat on the radio or see Pat on TV or on cartoons saying, hey, look, we're having a car wash today for the high school kids. Uh, hey, we have something going on for all the veterans. We have car shows happening for the veterans. He did so much for the veterans, for the kids, for the community. It's just simply what Pat was. It's what he did. He got out of bed every morning and I promise you this, not only was he thinking about what can I do to make the business grow, but what can I do to make this community grow and make this community a better place. I coached hockey for about three years. and He always supported hockey even without me asking or anything like that, but for teams, um, We'd have like state, state that we'd go to state, he'd, he'd help out with the buses and stuff like that. And when you have customers out there sitting at your desk as well, he always came out and talked to them, always greeted them and just treated everybody the same always. A good boss, a strong leader is always gonna lead by example. In every way, shape and form, he would never ask you to do something that he wouldn't be willing to do himself. You know, in a lot of cases, your boss is a guy you never really see. Oh, he's, Oh, I see him once a month or I see him a couple times a week. That man will work six days a week, including Saturday. When, when, you're, when you're the owner, you, you don't think you have to. You're like, oh, I'm going to go out on the boat and go get crazy, you know, do whatever, anything but work. But that man, like I said, perfect example of leading by example. So um, it's, it's definitely going to be hard for, well, it's hard for all of us. You know, people around here know how much he did for the community. He did everything as far as, you know, the Purple Hearts, Power on Tower, Car Show. He was always so involved with the community, he never really actually had to. No one was saying that you had to do any of this stuff. He just did it because he wanted to be part of the community. You know, we would run into each other at golf tournaments and things like that. And, you know, I really admired Pat for what he did for the community, especially because I think, you know, when it came to giving back and really trying to help the youth out like as much as I did, it, it kind of gave us that sense of unity that we were both trying to do the same thing and give back to the youth programs and make things better for the kids of our community. And you know, that I really found that admirable and I really, you know, it helped me, him and I develop a really good relationship. 
Good morning, everybody, to Bennett's Saturday Morning Cartoons. My name is Pat. And I'm Johnny. I tell you what, sit back for the next half hour, enjoy the most incredible inventory of cars, trucks, vans, you name it, we've got it, and incredible prices at Ben Ford's Cartoons. I produced the first 10 seasons of cartoons, and every week when I'd show up, Pat would always greet me with a joke, maybe some good natured ribbing. But then he'd always ask me about my personal life, too, because he, I think he really cared. He wanted to know how things were going for everyone around him. He treated everyone like family. And I think, um, I think he really loved doing cartoons because every, every week he had a chance to connect with thousands of people. I think he really loved that. If you look at all of the charities they've supported, whether it was on cartoons or when he's on the radio or just at the dealership, they're always supporting uh, a local charity, a local fundraiser, whether they're helping someone who is sick or raising money for the local softball team or of course collecting tens of thousands of coats for local children so they can stay warm in the winter. You know, Pat and Carla really, really cared about people and uh, we're gonna miss you, Pat. Pat Ringgold was a client of mine and a dear friend of mine. Duluth Superior lost so much when he left because he had invested so much into the community. There are thousands of stories of people and institutions that can say, yeah, Pat Ringgold really really took care of us and really helped us out and did it when we needed it the most. I was working for another TV station in town that will go nameless, Channel 3, and um, I was doing morning weather for them. And one of their salespeople had sold uh, Pat on doing a summer weather spot live. That got started in that one summer. It was just gonna be for three months, June, July, and August, just for the summer months. And so um, we were gonna end that August uh, on Labor Day. Instead, we did it for six years. And we cut it back so that uh, it was just a one minute uh, ad that we would do, but he and I would do it live. And then we started taping it and, uh, and sending it, and we had a ball. <laughs> we, I mean, it was, uh, it was pretty free form. And uh, you know, once in a while we tried to sell a car, but you know, normally we were just talking about stuff because Pat just had that way. Uh, we needed a truck at the shop here in the Lake Spear Railroad Museum. <laughs> we found the perfect one on the lot. The perfect one on the lot was selling for this, and being a nonprofit, we had this, and Pat said, sold. So, but there are so many stories like that, and so many organizations that have benefited, so many people I could tell stories about, but some of them are very personal, and some of them are very special, and that's kind of the way Pat was, too. Very special, very personable, very much missed. Well, Carla, Johnny, Timmy, uh, we stand here uh, unified as an organization uh, with our deepest gratitude for all the support you've given us over the years and with our deepest sympathies. The other day I was talking about Gold Star families and the void in their life. Uh, I cannot imagine uh, the void in your life right now, uh, losing your patriarch. Pat has been just a saint, um, a, a very generous, warm-hearted. He's the type of person that you really want to get to know better in life, and I, I, I so regret that I didn't get to know him better. Uh, it's a true testament to his character. All the people that he's helped within the Duluth Superior area is is outstanding. You know, I'm I'm a simple man, can offer myself a, 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 and help people, but Pat not only gave of himself but he gave financially. He had the means to support his community. And that, again, is just a true testament to who Pat Ringgold was. Um, again, you have our deepest sympathies. My name is Dan Strew, and I just want to say thank you to, the Pat, Ring, to Pat Ringgold and uh, express my sympathy to his uh, entire family. Uh, Pat has always treated me so well. Every time I bought five vehicles there, and every time I was in the finance office, he would come in and tell the finance guy to make sure that I got the best deal. Uh, this van that he, him and his company bought for us is a, a gem to, I've driven it many times, it's a gem to get us around town, wherever we go, out of town, anytime, cemeteries, whatever. Thank you to Pat and my deepest sympathy to his family. Is one of the people in the Duluth Honor Guard that's responsible for maintaining the van I just can't say how much we appreciate it. That van is one fine piece of machinery. I want to convey my condolences to the family, to Pat, my prayers around 
Pat and family at this most difficult time. Pat and Ben Afford. Pat has been recognized so often for his wonderful business acumen and his service level, but he extended that to members of the community. And we as a chapter of the Purple Heart also were touched by Pat. Pat established different vehicle options and auctions so that we were able to restore vehicles to a selling point. They hosted us there, the, the staff emulating from Pat a level of courtesy that was beyond rec recognition continually. We did this recurrent until his period of illness. We slowed down on that, but the major auction of vehicles and the restoration by he and his staff there to sell, we've been able to support many, many veteran activities within our community. And again, my sorrow for such a wonderful, gracious person. It's, it's weird because, you know, they always say that you're supposed to separate the family aspect to the work aspect. When really the Ringolds believed that family was work and work was family. And that's what made them, and that's what made Pat just the best boss in the world to keep it simple, to keep it, say it plainly. And all of a sudden the community is family and teaching us that community is family. 20 years of this man saying, a customer is family, you're loyal to them just like you would be your own family. He talked about it daily. It was so important that integrity was instilled to us employees. And I just think it's just the greatest thing to have a man who worked more hours than all of us. His, worth, his work ethic was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Six days a week. He'd work seven, but we're closed Sunday. You know, he's that guy. And that instilled to all of us because if you're working, you're helping. And he goes into the community and he says, we need to do everything possible for this community. It's Superior, Wisconsin, tying into the Twin Ports with Duluth, all the surrounding areas. I mean, from Michigan all the way up to International Falls, Pat Ringgold served the community constantly. So you name it, whether it was donations to the racetrack or whether it was to the skate park or whether it was to just Joe Blow who walked in who needed a tank of gas because he was out. Pat Ringle has heart, had heart, still has heart, and he has put that on his employees, all of us from the top down. And it's just just such the greatest, just the greatest thing I could ever imagine. Oh my God. You talk about feeling like family. He, uh, he, I, I don't care what, John, uh, I got some tickets for the wild game, you know, in my box, in my clubhouse seats, uh, you know, whatever, he called me up and see how things were going, even though I was on vacation. Hey, how's vacation going? You ready to come back to work and stuff like this? He cared, he wanted you to be here, he wanted you to succeed. And that's that's different, and he never bow breathed me. Uh, he, you know, we always ran by it, the 80-20 rule. 80% of the right times we made the right decision, 20% we goofed up. We did a couple boops on roaches and stuff like that. We had our oopses, but we ran the 80-20 rule all the time, and that's the way you ran things. Pat's kind of a family man, and Ben Afford is kind of like a family here, so a lot of uh, his family roots are, are spread out with, with all employees here too, so that's something that I really liked about Pat. Uh, really gonna miss the guy around here. He was always interested in, it, in everybody's life too, so he knows that I'm a big outdoor guy, big in the stone building, four wheeling, camping, that kind of stuff. He always wanted to know, you know, what did I do the weekend, that weekend, you know, how, how was snowmobiling, you know, how was four wheeling, what, you know, he was very interested in all his employees' lifestyles and, and, and that made, that was that family aspect of it, you know, just really impressed me too. He, he wasn't just a, a, a boss, you know, he was just that kind of guy and I, I just love that about him. Uh, it's like working for, like, family basically. Um, I had a grandpa that was a part of um, Ford for a very long time. Um, Pat just kind of always reminded me, just like my grandpa. Um, amazing guy, always did everything for everybody here. Um, like I said, he kind of just treated you like you were family. You know, and the other thing about Pat is he never, he never shied away from anything. Like if there was a customer complaint or if there was something, I mean, he just took it head on and made sure that that, you know, he lived up to the values of his company. You know, customers always first. We're just gonna carry on and, and carry on the traditions that Pat had for Benna. He always says, 
full speed ahead. That is his saying, full speed ahead. I heard it every week for 20 years. And full speed ahead, I'm taking that in the fashion of him, him and Carla had this vision. And that is to have two dealerships, one huge block, three city blocks to be exact. And that vision is coming true. The Chrysler dealership has moved down. Ben Ford is better than ever. And we will continue his legacy and serve the community as he has taught us for all these years. Working with him, Carla, his wife was phenomenal. Tim Ringold, Johnny, you know, uh, the great family. Um, it was a family affair here and it's going to continue here. And uh, I know Rob Hobbs is doing good and do a great job. Uh, continue on with his legacy because he is always, always true and always great. I mean, phenomenal. I, I, I can't say enough. And thank God he got me. He loved my passion for speed for race cars and especially trucks and all this stuff here. And the guy had a vision. He had a phenomenal vision. He instilled in all of us here at the dealership its um, values, number one. Always have values. Um, have integrity. You know, you, the car guys always have this rough name. Well, Pat Ringle didn't allow that. It was always integrity and um, trust and let the customer believe you naturally. And everything that man has done for this community is just off the hook. I mean, he's done so much. I mean, the Honor Guard, uh, Coats for Kids, along with the, uh, the other sponsors, um, Just for Kids Dental, uh, you name it, he did it. He built a skate park in the city of Superior because some little kids wanted it. The man was the most generous person I've known, okay? He treated all of us, um, customers, employees, literally like family. We were a family to him. You know, I always laugh because my dad watches the show every time and this is the first time I've ever said Pat was like my second dad, first of mine. It's the, the most amazing thing and it's a, a very rough loss on a lot of us. But with that being said, we will continue his legacy. We will have the Chrysler building that's being built at 2908 Tower right on our block, which was his vision. It was Pat's vision to have a Chrysler, a Dodge, a Jeep, a Ram, and a Ford all on one lot. It's his legacy, and we're moving forward with it, and we couldn't be happier because that's exactly what we, he would want, okay? So when you, when you think about Benna, when you think about Superior Chrysler, just know that we, uh, we're, here. <clears throat> we're here for you. Well, it was a different type of Saturday morning cartoons. And what kind of guy would I be if I didn't say something that Pat would say? He goes, yes, this is very important. Yes, but there's a ton of cars over here and there's a ton of service ready to go. That's right. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work. And that's what Pat Ringgold is for this community. That's what this Pat Ringgold is to all of us from the bottom of our hearts to the Ringgold family. We're open till five o'clock today. We'll see you down here. Peace.